Okay, so this one should be a pretty short video. We'll just do a quick macro recording and see what happens when you sort data and basically just fix some problems we get with recorded macros when you sort some data. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna go under developer, click record macro and just give this a name, sort data, that's good enough, no spaces in this macro names. Press OK and now we're recording. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm simply just gonna select this data, go under data and click sort. And I'll just sort this using one of the columns. So let's say I'm gonna sort it by sales rep. Press OK. That's pretty much it. Just go back to the first cell, go under developer, stop recording. So that's our macro. I'm just gonna sort this to some other order for a second right now, like this. So if I run the macro right now, it should work just fine. So I'm gonna go to macros, click run, and you can see it did what it was supposed to do. It did the sorting. Now, let me sort this again. So what's gonna happen very often is that For example, if I look at this, I made a couple of copies of this data worksheet. I go back to this data for, if I go back to developer and run the same macro, you will see that nothing happens on this particular worksheet that I'm on. But what should have happened if I go back to the data worksheet, see this one now was sorted. And the reason that happens is because if we go back and look at our macro recording, so I'm gonna click macros, click edit. See, our macro recorder basically pointed to that particular data worksheet. And that's the data that it's sorting. Now, if we want this to work on our current worksheet, we have to make some changes to this code. The first thing we're gonna do, instead of doing worksheets data, we're gonna replace it with active sheet. So I'm gonna do that same thing with all of these references. There's another one here, replace that one. There is another one here, so I'm replacing that one as well. So now I'm referring to active sheet instead of referring to that particular worksheet. So if I just go back and run this on this data four, See, now it works because we're now working with our active sheet and that's what we're gonna sort. So if I move to data three, for example, this will now sort this. And as usual, to make this a little more dynamic, we may want to add some handling for the last row. So right now this macro is selecting our data until row 22 in all of these ranges. So what we could do, we could just start by getting the last row. So I'm gonna get the last row using one of the methods. I'll use control up method for this one. So rows.count and in the first column and excel up dot row. So again, if you're not familiar with this, I have a video covering different ways of finding last rows and last columns. You should watch that for more detail. But for this one, I'm just gonna take this LR variable that should get the last row for me and replace it in all of the places in my code. So this 22, I'm gonna replace with a concatenated last row. Same thing for this one. There aren't that many, so I'm just gonna go through the code and do this. You could also run some search and replace operations if you want to do that. Three occurrences of row 22, I'm just going to handle those, go back. So now let me just make a couple of copies of this. If I have more rows in this data, if I go back and run this, it should work just fine. See our salespeople are sorted. If I have less data, same thing should happen. And now we're working with our current sheet, so it should just work fine. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.
please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.